हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल नम्रता मंत्रा वी आर ऑन वैशाला टेंपल ट्रेल इन कर्नाटका एंड वी आर रीच हिरे नल्लूर इन चिकमंगलूर डिस्टिक एंड देर इज मल्लिकार्जुन शिवा टेंपल बिल्ड बाय बल्लाला टू अराउंड ट्वेल्थ सेंचुरी सी ओरिजिनली दिस टेंपल बिल्डिंग वाज स्टार्टेड अराउंड एट सेंचुरी That time the Ganga dynasty ruled this area. Later on, the renovation is done by Ballala II in around 12th century. Today, we have started our journey from Badravati after taking the blessing of Lakshmi Narsiha at Badravati. On the way, we have visited marvelous Amruteshwara Temple at Amrutapura. Yoga Narsiha Temple at Bagavali which was in dilapidated condition and we have reached playing flute Hirenallur in Kadur Taluka where there is a Mallikarjun Temple and it is also called uh, Pujari not there it is Pujari known time now and temple is at center of the town but it also had deserted look and no one was around this uncle agreed to call the temple pujari the temple which was in state of disrepair was renovated around 2004 by the sri dharmastha manjunathesvara dharmotana trust temple and premises are well maintained temple houses three deities attention is drawn to the beautifully carved black stone nandi as per the local legend it is believed that he is sitting down there and protecting one of the female devotee of lord shiva there was a small well where now nandi is there the lady from the village is to religiously pray every day lord mallikarjuna shiva but her husband was not happy and he to beat her one day she took shelter in the well and nandi came and sat on top to protect her temple is built in three kuta style there is main deity mallikarjuna shiva in the form of linga we were able to get the blessing of all the three deities as the temple pujari from the village devotees worship shivlinga using jasmine flower jasmine flower is called mallika that is how the name mallika arjuna next scantam channa keshava lord vishnu is known as keshava as per the attributes he holds in his hand and channa means beautiful or handsome in kannada that is how lord vishnu is called channa keshava and third is the solar deity sun or surya the base pedestal you can see there seven horses the carrier of sun pulling him temple is very famous for the navranga selling design it has motifs carving and ancient stories from hindu purana join namrataj mantra to witness the captivity stories on the ceiling ancient hindus believe the eight direction of universe are guarded by the ashta dikpalas and here you can see on this ceiling the ashta dikpalas and center what you see is a brahma ceiling in front of the channa keshava is decorated with 10 incarnation of lord vishnu and center is the pier some form of vishnu the narsiha look at the shape of the ceiling from the square formed by the beams to the octagonal sides to the square 
and inside the square this, there are ten incarnation of lord vishnu ugra narsiha inside the pattern formed by two square crossing each other the flowers creepers kritimukaj and other motifs and carving all decorated around decorative selling in front of malikarjuna it showcases the dancing shiva various incarnation or forms of shiva around we must appreciate the craftsmanship of any saint tisians who have carved this all on the hardest rock horizontal surface of these beams are lined up with different stories one side you can see brahma vishnu mahesh with their consort other side is adorned with lord vishnu in a sleeping position called padmanabha you can see the lotus flower blooming out of his navel and lord brahma was born shiva and parvati on kailasa parvat are depicted and fourth side there is lord there is sun god flanked by usha and pratyusha warding off the darkness this is unbelievable iconography the naranga sailing in front of the sun god depicts the story of navagraha so you can understand our ancestor thousands of year back had a knowledge of solar planetary system and they have carved out here on top of this ceiling these motifs and carving will keep your head spinning the god ganesha and at the side of that there are these saptamatrukas or seven shakti goddess and lined up with snake god decorative door jobs of all the three garbhagrahas on top you can see the mini shikara and the gajalakshmi door keepers the late turn designed pillars and many more patterns are seen all around and the list continues from the stone inscription the temple history dates back to 800 ce when gangas ruled this area later the temple was extensively renovated by hosala king balala 2 during the end of 12th century ce and there is also other stone inscription possibly the temple was converted from ek kuta to tri kuta style of temple architecture the shikras are around with kirti mukaj deities motif and intricate carvings lord hanuman lord ganesha emblem of hoysala and shivlinga is seen on top of the shikra the temple is built in a hoysala style of architecture and in 2004 all the parts were reassembled so now it looks in good condition not only the shikras and the ceiling below that but walls are decorated with many avatars of lord vishnu the temple is built in a star shape design let us go around and understand the iconography of ancient hoysala craftsmen nrusya killing hiranyakashyapu uma maheshwar you can see the damru in the hands of uma or parvati lord shiva in the yogic form can be seen here side is vina vadika or looks like saraswati playing vina and he is brahma vishnu mahesh lord vishnu as a keshava look at his attributes left bottom hand he has a mace top hand has chakra right bottom hand has flower and top is a shanka or kaunch this is a makara and you ever wondered 
why it is placed on the water outlet from the temple as you know makara is the carrier of varuna and varuna varuna is god of water musicians in attendance while shiva and ganesha dance many divine figures madanikad the hunter carrying the prey lady with a snake shiva as bear some form bhairava shiva with parvati madanikad with modern hair style high heel shoes and ornaments standing in trivanga position are seen here shiva in the dancing position after killing the gajasura discover the artistry and symbolism behind these reliefs and carving they depict narsiha in many forms here is in yogic form oisala iconography they always show the carrier of the god here is garuda with the wings so identifying the deity as lord vishnu this pattern is continued all along the wall where there is a vishnu you can see at the side there is a garuda in attendance people have worship the deities and applied oil so they look black at many places arjuna aiming for the fish eye also war being fought riding on the elephant many warriors are shown here with their weapons and even ganesha and lord vishnu with the weapons many places they have shown male and female hunters the drummers dancers and here you can see the chamundi ancient sculptures always warn us about danger of spies from other countries you can see here the man standing looking like foreigner they are always shown with snakes or poisonous pot in hand warning about their motives visiting this ancient temple is a divine experience and we we'll learn many things we also understand the iconography of our ancient sculptures carved on this walls of these temples is balrama with his plow on his shoulders every temple has a unique story and craftsmanship carved by our ancestors now we are moving on to chennakeshava temple had arekere which had different story to tell so join namrataj mantra as we go on exploring this vaishala temples in karnataka